Our next example of an integral for which we'll use um, integration by parts is this integral. Here we have the integral of e to the 3x times cosine of x. Again, we have a product of two different functions, but the thing we should pay attention to is which type of functions we have. Now, for e to the 3x, if we continue taking derivatives of that function, we can do that infinitely um, because of the nature of the e to the x function. Um, likewise, for cosine of x, if we take derivatives of that function, we can keep doing that continuously. And for cosine of x and for e to the x, we have um, a pattern that will emerge out of those. Um, so that means if we keep doing integration by parts, we could keep doing that forever, which is obviously not going to solve our problem. Um, so what we're going to look for is we're going to do integration by parts a few times until we end up with the same integral that we started with somewhere in our equation. And then we can solve for that integral using very simple algebra. So let's go ahead and pick our u and our dv in order to solve this problem. Um, so since both of these functions um, have non-terminating derivatives, um, it doesn't matter so much which one you pick for u and which one you pick for dv. And so for this one, I'm going to pick e to the 3x for my u. And we're going to have to find du for that. And then for my dv, that leaves cosine of x dx. And again, to find du, we just take the derivative of e to the 3x, which is 3e to the 3x dx. And to find v, we take the integral of cosine of x dx, which is just going to be sine of x. And so we can put all of this together. Um, so now we have the integral of e to the 3x cosine of x dx is equal to, over here we have our formula for integration by parts, so u times v, e to the 3x sine of x minus um, v du, so for v du I have sine of x times 3e to the 3x dx, I'm going to take the 3 out since we can do that, um, so we have e to the 3x sine of x dx. So if you didn't, when you're working on this problem, if you didn't notice right away that you're working with two um, non-terminating derivative functions, um, you might get to this step and realize that you're not improving at all. You still have something that we can't take the integral of that we're going to need to use integration by parts. Um, and it seems like this could keep on going forever. But you'll notice here we start off with e to the 3x times cosine of x. And here we have e to the 3x times sine of x. Um, and so we're hoping to get back to an integral that has cosine of x in it. So we're going to do integration by parts again. So the second integration by parts, my u2, I'm going to pick e to the 3x again. And for, oh, sorry, 2. <laughs> Right. dv2, I'm going to pick sine x dx. And again, to find du2, we're going to take the derivative of u. Um, and so we get 3e to the 3x. And to find v2, we're going to take the integral of sine of x dx. And for that, we get negative cosine of x. Um, so again, we will rewrite what we have. So we have the integral of e to the 3x cosine of x dx is equal to e to the 3x sine of x minus 3 times. Um, and here we're going to have 3 times all of this. So um, u times v. So that's going to be a negative e to the 3x cosine of x minus the integral of v du. So v here is negative cosine of x 
and du is 3e to the 3x. So if I pull out the negative 3, I actually have plus 3e uh, to the 3x cosine of x dx. And so this is a good sign because we see right here, we have the same integral as over here. And so we can um, use algebra to combine like terms and then solve for this integral. And so that's what we're going to do next. Um, next, I'm going to distribute this three out so that it's easy to see. And we'll have the integral of e to the three x cosine of x dx equals e to the three x sine of x plus three e to the three x cosine of x minus nine integral of e to the three x cosine of x dx. So we have a minus nine integral of e to the three x cosine of x dx. And over here we have an integral of e to the three x cosine of x dx. And so we can just add this nine to both sides um, like we would do with variables in algebra. And so over here, we now have 10 integral of e to the three x cosine of x dx equals e to the three x sine of x plus three e to the three x cosine of x. And then to get the answer, we would divide both sides by 10. And so we're going to do that real quick here. And so all of this would just be over 10. And we have that this integral is equal to e to the 3x sine of x plus 3e to the 3x cosine of x over 10. And don't forget, since we did integration with an indefinite integral, we need plus c. Um, now you see that I went through that whole thing and almost forgot it. Um, that's something that's easy to do and we get caught up in the process of doing a problem. Um, so don't forget to do that if we're not working with bounds. It's an indefinite integral and we need the plus c at the end. Um, so again, the trick that we used to solve this one was dependent on the fact that our functions that we're taking the integral of have cyclic derivatives, meaning if we keep taking the derivative over and over, we get back to where we started. And so then we got this nice thing to come out where we have this integral matching this integral over here. We use algebra to combine like terms, and then we can easily find the answer.